All right, hope you guys are doing well on this Sunday morning or whenever you are watching this. Um, taking a look here at yesterday, I was looking at some alternatives to Surfer. Um, Surfer's pricing is getting pretty ridiculous. Um, I have one account, we're paying somewhere around $1,000 a month because we need 400 credits. Um, yeah, all, all I know is it's 400 credits. It's got to be somewhere between 800 and 1200 a month. Um, we're looking into that, but I'm also looking for an alternative now because that's just crazy. Uh, we're scaling the blog aggressively. Uh, organic traffic is, is through the roof, um, and we need to keep going and keep growing. And it's just, it, it's still worth it, worth it to go with surfer. Like the value is there at a thousand dollars a month. Um, but also like the scrappy entrepreneur in me says like, there's no way this is like, there's gotta be better options for a thousand a month. So if there were none option, no options, we would still pay a uh, surfer is what I'm trying to say. The value there is so high. Um, so I'm looking for some options. Um, I mean, for, for different projects and I, I pretty much keep like one, uh, SEO tool account per project. And so for every project and every team, it's like a different, um, uh, account for that size. If that makes sense. So, um, so that different teams don't like cross use, like, who are these guys? Who are these guys? So everything is, everything is separate in my life. Um, so with that being said, some projects, you know, it makes sense. You're only doing a few articles a month. You're not necessarily doing 40 articles in a month. So, um, that's why I want to look at things like the starting cost, um, per month, uh, then a dollar per article and then some overall score and the overall score is just kind of like what I thought of the tool in terms of like features, usefulness for this purpose. Um, you know, Surfer has a 10 because it does everything I need and more. There, there, there's half that I don't even need. Like there's, but there's still so many things that they're not even focusing on that I'm happy they're not focusing on because some of these tools in this list uh, become a very like catch all, right? They're trying to do things that Ahrefs does and SCMrush does or SEMrush and uh, things that keyword.com does. And just if, if you're, uh, you know, proficient in SEO, you're not looking for like a one, one solution fits all kind of, uh, uh, software. You're looking for like something that does this specific job for this specific need very well. Um, kind of like, you know, surfer, you, you don't go to surfer for like keyword research, although I'm sure some, may, I, I don't know. I don't even like, I'm not even familiar with the keyword research functionalities. So I, I don't even click into some of those features. Um, just because AREFs exists. Um, and if you have the budget and you can afford AREFs as well, may as well, right? So, and, and SEMrush is also pretty pretty good. Okay, so uh, from the top in the order, um, let's go into here. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a demo of Surfer, uh, just because I, mean, I think everyone, I think it's the most popular uh, tool on the list. I, I was contemplating, do I title this as surfer alternatives or like, are, are people looking, are they with another tool that's more popular, like ClearScope, for example, we're going to get into next. So I, I think most people are with surfer and looking for surfer alternatives rather than any of the others on the list. Um, so this is, these are all in per year. So if you go monthly. You can see, so for example, I'm using and maxing out 90 content editor credits, uh, or not 90, I, just, I read that, it's 400 is what we're maxing out right now. So on some sort of custom plan. So if I had to guess, um, probably, what's that down to? That's like $3 and so per article. Um, three times four is 1200, probably a bit of a discount, right? That's how I came up with a thousand. So probably around a thousand dollars. Um, a lot of these other things are not really needed, like organization seats. I mean, most, if you're using like any of the enterprise password management tools, like you can usually share a login. People don't usually need simultaneous access. Um, unless you're doing, I mean, we're putting out 400 articles a month with one person. Um, yeah, roughly one person. And so 
there's there's no real time where it's like one person's trying to get into the tool one another person's also trying to get into the tool um it's it's not it's not like that and so i don't really see the value of this kind of stuff um there it is keyword research but if you have the but if you're paying this much per month or this much per month you can afford a ref so just who cares about keyword research in this case uh integration is cool jasper cool I don't even know if Jasper's still relevant anymore uh, with all of the, I'm surprised. Oh, it's even, it's over here as well. I didn't even know if Jasper is still relevant. I thought it was kind of like before the rise of open AI, Jasper was very popular, but I don't know if this is new or not. Um, so there's that um, SERP analyzer, custom branding. Yeah. So I'm over here somewhere. I really don't know. Anyways, um, that's Surfer. ClearScope is like the enterprise solution uh, for Surfer. So um, it's more money, but I think ClearScope, don't quote me, but I think ClearScope was around first. Um, and I think it's less popular. I think Surfer is more popular now. Um, again, don't quote me, but I mean, they have some pretty big customers here, it looks like. Uh, it's it's the go-to solution if if you're working for a, a large enterprise and just want the best option then you don't care about money right you care more about the thing in in like these corporate it's not that they don't care about money but it, from a small business standpoint it looks like they don't care about money but really they care about like like what were the things that surfer said right legal assistance like things like that where i remember a friend of mine um he built neverbounce.com, Brad. And he was telling me with some of his large customers, I mean, they wanted to know things like they it was beyond talking about what Neverbounce did. And Neverbounce is like used by one out of you never heard of it, it's an email cleaning service. It's used by one out of three of every Fortune 500 company. One out of four, one of the two. Um, anytime you're at a, a checkout in America or around the world, actually, and you're at say uh, I don't know if CBS uses it, let's use CBS in this case. You're at CBS, like, hey, do you have an email? You want to add your account and at the cash register and you add it for like a penny, they validate that the email you just gave is real. And so um, when talking with Fortune 500 customers, um, and, and I don't even know which one he was talking about, doesn't really matter, and nor would I share that if I knew, um, he was talking about how like so many of the conversations around things like, what is your procedure when there's a fire in the office? What happens to the data? What brand of locks do you have on your office? You know, security, this, they want all the details of things outside of the software. And so when you're that, if you've never worked in an, in an enterprise, uh, like a, a corporate setting like that, uh, which I haven't, but I, I, I'm familiar with it just through ex other experience, um, you know, those things are kind of valued. So that's what I would go for in that case. But if you're a small business or a startup, um, say series A or smaller, um, you're gonna wanna look at some other things on the list. But once you hit like series C, D, E, I mean, money is just whatever. It's a, it's a, a little bit different. They they go for like optimization, speed, um, just other things. It, it, price is not a huge pain point for them. Um, to give you an idea, Series E companies were sidetracked, but Series E companies spend more than your typical, you know, large uh, corporation. Um, and in terms of ad budget and ad management, I had a company uh, kind of headhunt me to run uh, ads. The budget was a million dollars a day. It was a senior performance uh, marketing manager. It was a million dollars a day for a Series E company. I think it was E. It's out of Toronto. And I asked a friend of mine who deals with some very large uh, clients. I said, is this, a, is this typical for a corporation? He's like, no. Only people that run ads that size are are uh, companies in a, in a deep growth stage. And so they, they peak and then once they get bigger, their ads actually scale down, which it was kind of you know news to me, um, even though I've been doing this since 2009. So anyways, sidetrack, damn it, Josh, come on. Um, hopefully this, if you guys enjoy the stories, write a comment. If you hate them, write a comment. I, I wanna, I don't know if you guys like hearing those kind of things or stories or, or, or if they're totally useless to, to either what you're trying to do or just in general, if you just don't find it interesting, let me know. Um, could use some constructive feedback. And let me know if you're watching nine minutes in. Um, so reword, 
there's a trial. I popped in my credit card and made sure I canceled because I definitely, uh, I'm not going to be paying for this. It's, it's a decent tool if you're just a journalist and don't really care too much about um, SEO. Um, I, wrote, I was writing, I was writing the article that we're talking about right now is, is uh, surfer alternatives and that it prompts you with questions and things like that. There's a little bit of talk on SEO on their sales page, but it's very mild. It's, it's definitely not the tool for someone looking to, uh, um, looking to optimize for SEO, but, uh, it, it, it is helpful. I mean, I'm not going to say it's useless. If you're, if you're just trying to write a blog, that's, that's useful and don't really care about SEO which is not any, anyone watch this video, but those people exist. Um, newspapers, things like that, are people with huge DRs um, that really don't have to care about optimization that much because Google just loves DRs even if your site is junk. Um, phrase, phrase is really cool too. Phrase is another top option. Um, I think I'm saying that right. Fraz, I think it's E would make this a hard A, right? Phrase, I don't know. Um, Couple of the cool thing about phrase, uh, 15 bucks a month to get you started. It's only four articles a month. So, um, there's other option and another option here. That I'm going to call it as my number one option, uh, is, is cheaper per article. But if you only need to optimize like one article a month, Hey, that's not bad. Annually 12, 13, that's not bad. Um, another cool call out is unlimited articles. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, let me get any screenshots here or not. You know, going from surfer 400 articles a month at thousand dollars a month to this for 115, right? It's it's a little bit uh, for unlimited is is pretty cool. Um, trial for a dollar. I swear they had a screenshot here. You can kind of see it. Um, see if this loom pulls up there. Kind of ghetto they're sending us to the loom website to watch this um let me hit play and pause this dude's uh audio people are reacting and stuff huh. um but you can see it still it has a very similar layout right like it, it literally looks like surfer um well it did before i whatever whatever i did there skip through this but um anyways so not a bad option uh seo scout similar cool you know i i went down to this part to show you this uh how it looks kind of similar right we're talking about you need to mention the word google uh one to 38 times um it's kind of vague and broad but um finding this to be like a very uh broad catch-all solution again you know, not really for the SEO specialist um, type user. It, it, it's it's just one of many features. And if you click into their pricing, um, we have, uh, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Because you go down. No, this is not it. I'm getting tools confused. This one is kind of catch-all, but there is a, a, a another catch-all that's a little more dramatic. So this one, and if you guys don't want to listen to this whole video, feel free to click the blog link in the below and, and, and just skim through this. If you don't want to watch the whole video, um, although you're probably pretty deep into it, I guess, uh, this one here, $5 an article, it's not that much cheaper and it doesn't specialize in this. Um, so eh, it's just kind of, it's there, it's an option. I'm not going to say anything bad or good about it. I think it's just a, an option. Um, neuron cheapest per article, 23 a month and you get, uh, 25 content writer analysis. Um, I talked to their team because I said, well, your, your max plan is only 150. Um, that's not enough. You know, we're at 400 right now. I'm looking to scale. Um, so they said that they, they can do some, they're going to add some other options or they're going to work with me or something. So I'm happy to hear that. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm in touch with them right now about about getting something larger than this uh, so we'll see what they come back with but these guys are super popular when i was researching others talking about this topic um it was no one was talking about neuron everyone was talking about all these other options i'm like really you guys put these other options above neuron like i think a lot of these other articles on like the best alternatives people are, are paid to write uh, 
I'm not being paid by anyone here, so no one owns me. Uh, I can kind of say what I want, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, no one was talking about Neuron, and I have no idea why. They are they are a great option. Um, very similar to Surfer, super super similar, and like way cheaper. You're looking at less than a dollar per article compared to six dollars, almost six dollars Surfer. So, um, and then there's Content Harmony. Um, not bad. Let me go to the pricing over here. But ten dollars, ten dollars an article. So it's more money than Surfer. So I mean, it's not bad. No, um, I don't think they have. If you're going to spend more than Surfer, you obviously uh, price is not a huge pain point for you. Just go with ClearScope. Um, and the last one, this one came up popular by so many people on so many lists. And the only way I can come up with like an, an answer is like they must be paying blogs to like alter their opinion because I just did not see the the value. Um, this is the one I was talking about where the content optimization is not even part of what they really offer. It's like a, an afterthought. So turn off annual, go to monthly, it's 55 a month. You get all this stuff. Again, just use a refs. Don't even bother with this stuff. Um, and there's add ons. So get past all this, get past all this. There's, it's just clunky is how I feel. Like you try to do everything good and you do nothing good. Um, and also SE ranking, not to hate on them so much, but that just sounds like a, an expired domain name that doesn't really make sense that was like retrofitted to become a, a brand name like se ranking they must have used an expired domain and just like okay we're going to call our company this um content marketing so it's an afterthought here um it's 29 a month so even if this is all you want which is you know kind of my situation you gotta buy all this crap up here all this stuff so like I said, it, it, it might be worth it for some people. Um, it's not going to be anything new using like a split like AREFs with Neuron Writer um, or any of the other options. So if you, or SEMrush, SEMrush is cheaper than AREFs. If you're looking for a proper budget solution, probably SEMrush, split it with a buddy, and then um, Neuron Writer. I think that's your most cost effective solution, but depending on everyone's needs, there's going to be a lot of different answers and combinations. So anyway, 17 minutes. Thanks for sitting through it. Um, hopefully there's some value here. Um, again, I just researched this all for myself and I was like, you know what? I should make a video out of this, share it. Um, so I'm probably going with Neuron Writer, um, but Phrase is also like a very attractive solution. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I end up going with, but you guys have enough uh, info here to make an educated decision on your own. So enjoy.